Hello, my name is Danny J, lead developer here at Bytebox Media, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can create a multi launcher setup. So, in case you're wondering what a multi launcher setup is, it enables you to. Uh, so, basically, when you create a game launcher with GLC v2, the patching system that's built inside or the update system um, allows you to patch one game. So, if you have multiple games or you have uh, multiple mods for the same game, you're going to need a way to be able to pa uh, patch, you know, multiple games or multiple mods um, instead of just the one. So I'm going to show you the basic uh, premise for the setup on how you can do this inside GLC V2. Now, because GLC V2 runs really fast on, um, you know, with the launchers, it's actually quite easy to do. Um, so I'm going to show you in this tutorial video how you would do it. So the first thing that we do is we create a new project. Uh, this is going to be our parent launcher. So if you imagine you're going to have a parent launcher, which is the main launcher, and then you're going to have child launchers after that. So I'm going to call this, uh, let's call it uh, our game launcher. Danny. And then we'll click OK. So here is the premise for our basic uh, first launcher. Let me just drag these over here. I'm, I'm running on a... A dual screen setup here so i've got my dialogues on another screen uh right okay um so this is our blank launcher as you can see no objects and whatnot so i'm just going to get up the page properties and i'm going to insert a background image now i've already got a background image prepared for all this so it's under templates two and then multi-launch there we go so here's our multi-launch background image so like that and then what we want to do is we want to create three buttons because we're just going to say for this example that we've got three games um so let's um and so we want game one game one and game one now we need to resize that back to its original size there we go okay so that's that done just need to repeat this process now for game two and three so i'll be as quick as i can so game two game two and game two resize that as well and then a third button for game three game three game three And resize that back to original. There we go. So we've got. So there we go. So basically, let's just pretend that we are a game development company with three different games. Now the user could have any of these games or all of these games installed. Um, we can detect which games are installed by using the registry button um, entries. And again, um, you can revert to the documentation section on how that works. But for now, this is our parent launcher. So basically, this is the, the this is the initial launcher that the user runs, and then they get to decide from here. Now, if you had um, say this, say you was modding for a particular game, and you had three different mods, then this would work in the same um, same kind of way, the same premise. So game one, what we're going to do is we're going to tell it to execute a game or app, and we're going to create a folder called launcher one, and inside there is going to be launcher.exe. And we're going to close the parent launcher upon action. So it's going to run the child launcher for game one. And then it's going to close itself. Now, it's going to be that fast. The user won't even see what's going on. So we'll do the same for these. So launcher two. Launcher.exe. Close launcher upon action. And then finally for game three, I'll do launcher underscore three launcher.exe close launcher so what we can do is we can save that now what we can do is we can build this out straight away so let's build the launcher so that's our permanent launcher done now what we need to do once this is done we then need to create a launcher for each one of our games so we've got game one game two game three if you're doing modding um, then you would create a launcher for each mod each uh, individual mod 
unless you want all the mods if you want all the mods installed at once then just use one launcher but if you want the users to have a choice of two or three four 19 different mods whatever then you need to do a multi-launcher setup so this is how our folder structure looks this is the build now from the launcher so what i can do now is i can close that down and now we can create game one launcher danny i'll show you a little trick coming up in a minute as well so i need a background for this one game one background and then what we can do is we can insert a button that says <coughs> play but then we also need a button to return back to the main screen which actually executes our main launcher again our parent launcher Now we can position this anywhere we like. So let's pop it here. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to get that to launch the game. Now, to get back up to the folder, what's going to happen is in this folder here, I'm going to create right now that launcher one folder. And inside here is going to be this launcher. So to get to launch this executable that's back up a folder, all we have to do is execute game or app and then type dot dot backslash launcher dot exe. Close launcher upon action. Save that. We'll build that out. Then what we do is we take game one's launcher we copy the files go into launcher one and paste them in so what's happened what will happen now is i'll just show you exactly how this works just minimize everything out of the way so we run our parent launcher this is the one that your user will run um I don't know what's happened to the launcher. What's happened to the launcher? <laughs> oh, dear me. It is there. Look, it's there. Launcher. Run. Build. Whatever you need to do. I don't know what happened then. Something's happened. I'll figure that out in a minute. I'm using a, I'm using a beta version of GLC V2 here because I'm working on some DLC updates. So there is a slight chance I could have messed something up myself. Yep, there we go. So this is our parent launcher that's running right now. As you can see, which game would you like to play today? Game one. We click it, it exits. Now, you can see we've got this splash screen here that loads, so it doesn't make it an instantaneous load. So we can remove that. So as you can see now, we've now got game one loaded up here um, in a separate launcher. This is a child launcher. When we click back, it will load up our main launcher again. So the best way to do this is to uh, go to the splash screen. Get up the properties for the splash screen. Let's not include a splash screen. Build that out. If we don't include a splash screen, then it shouldn't take long at all for the launchers to switch between themselves. And the user probably won't even recognize the fact that they're switching. Or they'll just think that it's changing the page. So I'm just building out the main launcher again now with no child. Oh, wait, sorry, with no splash screen. And then what I'll do is I'll open the game one launcher back up and I'll disable that splash screen as well. Save that. Build launcher.
we need to copy these files back into launcher one yes replace all right so let's try it again now from the top so now you would simply run the parent launcher <laughs> which does this again i don't know what's going on there there's definitely something to do with this beta version that i'm using here i'm not building that one are we let me get the main one again definitely something going down there but again is this what happened in the normal glc v2 this is just because i'm like i said i'm using a development version here which is um i'm adding some dlc stuff in at the minute for the for the new dlc add-on that's my disclaimer anyway so run the main launcher as you can see it was instant load up when i click on game one as you can see it takes you straight there so you can switch between launchers that fast um you know and you can make it look pretty much the same now each launcher because these each because each one of these is a child launcher you can each one can have its own individual settings for aops so if you've got three games like on this uh, example then you can have three uh, different aops uh, configurations obviously for each different game um if it was a mod so for example if you're a modder for a particular game and the user can um, run different mods or different game types or whatever um, individually then you could use the same setup for that so i hope that was helpful to you i was hope i hope it's helpful to somebody you can just adapt um glc v2 make glc v2 work the way you want it to work um you know there's plenty of room for um you know techniques like this just play about with stuff trial and error that's all it means you need to do um and the best thing is you can even up, update your launcher files from the parent um from the parent launcher um, inside the aops configuration for the parent launcher you can update all your launcher files for your child uh, launchers as well um so again it's all doable check out the documentation over at the website gamelauncheracreator.com don't forget to check out our discord server uh, where you can uh, chat with our support staff myself um and other users as well and throw some more ideas about but yeah that's basically the premise on how it works um if you've got any questions head over to our discord and drop them in there hopefully someone will get back to you as soon as possible